If you are facing a personal problem, a hardship, we need to go through moments like this. Did you know that? It's necessary that we will face problems every day. Every day. Why? Because these problems are the ones that compel, that stimulate our faith, our trust, our consistency with God. Imagine how many people you know, assistants, how many people you know that one day were well, they were next to you, an assistant, or even a pastor. They were doing fine. Everything was going wonderfully well for them. All of a sudden, they left. They left the church. Why? Why? Because they wanted to experience a bit of the wine of the world. They were not going through struggles, no. They wanted to make use of the freedom they had in Jesus to then enjoy a bit of the world out there. This is the great problem we face inside of the Church of the Lord Jesus. Many people end up losing their spiritual vision because of their personal vision, because of their personal desires, because they want to please themselves. And you know, and if you didn't know, you need to know, we do not exist. You don't exist. We've died to this world. Those who see us see a corpse, a corpse to this world, but a living being to our Lord Jesus Christ. So we've died to this world already. We've already died to our family members. We've died to friends. We've died to this world. So, the hardships that we face, which are necessary in order for us to maintain our faith, it's for the maintenance of our faith. We need to go through adversities so that faith can be constantly exercised, so that then we may overcome that day and to overcome in the following day and in the next one. And every day we overcome the obstacles until we reach the plenitude of the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, until we enter the presence of the Most High through the salvation of our soul. Amen.